Okay, let's knock out a few of these examples here on this out of place channels topic. First up, we're going to take a look in Google Earth at this Ukraine example, this channel here, and some of the surrounding area. And then we'll also take a look at Russia for reference, although this is more of the cartoonish rivers thing. Uh, so we'll take a look at this area and then we'll also go look at uh, the Amazon in uh, Brazil and look at some of the angular weirdness there. All right, so let's hop over to Google Earth. Okay, so we're going to look at this area in northern Ukraine and uh, we're going to take a look at this area and a couple of these place marks as well. So the first example is uh, this guy. It's kind of hard to see with all the text from my place marks. So let me hide these real quick. Uh, so once again, uh, this channel is, uh, does make sense to me as a navigation or transportation channel if this interrupting bit of land is not there. Otherwise, uh, I have a, a hard time uh, contextualizing or just understanding what the purpose of this is. So uh, maybe it's navigation. They want to go out this way and they couldn't get through this bit of land for some reason or <laughs> they ran out of funding or something and they couldn't do 50 extra feet or whatever. Um, uh, but see, I could be wrong here. Maybe I'm seeing things, but I feel like uh, this linear bit here is uh, continuing here in some sense. And... Uh, Let me, let me bring up the historical photos. Okay, so 2017, oops, 2014, get kind of a different look at it here. And uh, see just this, uh, this could be like a trail, which is like a trail along the coast, which is giving me um, a false sense of a continuation of this maneuver over here. See, because we have this like linear thing here, which I think is like just a trail or a vehicle tracks or something. Um, yeah. So there's that. But then there's this edge here, which seems to. Mm, it's hard to hard to know whether my my brain's playing tricks on me. Uh, but it looks like maybe here. I don't know. It, it, see if this part here is not part of this, then I'm, I'm wrong about this one. But if it is, then I think it's kind of indicative of something weird going on. Let me look at further back photos, 2011. Uh, okay, sorry about that. Um, hmm. Sorry, it's a little glitchy. Uh, hmm. Okay, well, I don't think we're going to get a clear answer on this one. It's just, uh, for consideration, I guess you can make up your own mind or come up with your best guess what you think is going on here. Possibly an angular little lake here. Slightly weird. Uh, and it is worth noting that there's quite a bit of industrial activity. Oh, this might be Chernobyl or Chornobyl, Chernobyl. Quite a bit of industrial activity in the area, so that's that needs to be considered. Um, also, this channel here. Let's turn my place bar, place marks back on. Uh, let's see. This would make sense as a navigation channel. Um, and then we have another one across here, which would also make sense as a navigation channel, possibly. Uh, so we've got this little guy here, and may even be just river, but it looks kind of interrupting, like not, not a flowy pattern there. Um, okay. Uh, 
let's see. I'm just kind of looking at these other channels here. Like, this could be modern drainage or any number of things. Could even be like just one quick pass of a deforestation uh, vehicle, or I mean a, a logging vehicle. And then these, I probably have a place mark here. Oh, I guess I don't. But uh, this straight bit of land here, we see that a lot. Um, linear edge. And uh, it's quite common. Here's another channel here. Could be for transportation, maybe not. Uh, kind of path here, or just the edge of the natural river loop. Um, but let's just zoom out here real quick and uh, make some general comments. Uh, so this whole area, uh, one more time, I'll say I'm suspecting it's both, well, yeah, both natural patterns and an artificial working over of the natural patterns and modern traditional artificial working over of the whatever patterns were there. Uh, these even looking like some kind of parallel possible artificial edits. This right here, maybe the streak right here. And uh, we haven't gotten to some of the more blatant weird examples yet in this area. There's one I'll show you in a minute that kind of looks like an eyebrow. Um, also, another general comment. Um, okay, so uh, if this doesn't, um, if this conversation doesn't particularly convince you, then uh, I would uh, strongly suggest that uh, if you only have a limited amount of time to invest in this type of investigation or conversation, then um, just check back in uh, a couple days or maybe a couple weeks when I discuss, so I have all these images of uh, out of place channels here and I'm just gonna kind of go through them in order in the videos, uh, covering them in Google Earth. Uh, so check back on the last part of the out of place channels videos, topical uh, video. Uh, so the Mauritania content, uh, specifically this one. So just um, if you only want to watch one thing uh, or just like half an hour worth of content, um, check this out. Uh, I already said this, but it's worth repeating because it's a pretty important area. And I know that some of the information is kind of boring and unconvincing. So uh, this is, this might save you some time just Check back when I have a video on this. Uh, it'll be like out of place channels part four or something like that. So just FYI. All right, let's go back here. Turn our place, ma ma place marks back on. Um, where were we? We're kind of looking at this area. This making sense, yes, as a navigation channel. And fair warning, this video might be a little long winded. But, whatever. Um, let's see. See, uh, again, these channels are often dug to maintain depth for navigation. So, you know, if sediment is collecting regularly in these areas, then the uh, transportation and uh, locomotion, or whatever, just transportation, shipping uh, activity, can't uh, continue to use the channels, so they have to be continually dredged. Uh, other than these like short bits of channel, I'm not seeing heavy evidence of dredging here. Um, unless this is dredging, I don't know. But uh, possible something here. Anyways, uh, I don't know how shallow or deep these areas are. But it looks like it's kind of shallow and marshy in some parts. And more solid land, like you see some trees here. 
So a mixture of stuff. Uh, like this, this over here is probably more marshy, and we see these these channels here. But uh, since it's marshy, this could just be like a boat making its way through the marsh, and not even not even a dredge. So um, it just looks like a channel, but it's just a boat going through the marsh, or it went through the marsh. You know, like these. Okay. With channels like this, possibly for navigation, does make sense. Uh, and then, in the from the conspiratorial angle that I'm talking about, it's also possible that these channels here are uh, are like a 10% uh, outing themselves type of situation where they have to make their uh, terraforming discoverable, so they add in some obviously non-natural components like what is this could be anything i guess uh, but these lines across could even be pipelines or something um, okay let's go back to my place marks so All right, let's go up to Belarus and then work our way down. Uh, so these parallel lines here, um, just to show you that they're not, well, all we have is 2012. So it doesn't tell us much. Uh, even these like parallel um, cleared areas of trees, I'm not convinced that that's 100% modern logging or modern uh, industrial activity of some kind. These uh, linear patches of cleared trees and stuff like that, like it's looking like streaks here and then it's now it's looking like more angular artificial features. Um, I just want to throw the question out there that maybe uh, while while this area is heavily developed see this kind of major town here and major activity uh, I'm not 100% convinced that all of the angular tree patches are uh, and tree lines are uh, part of the modern activity hopefully I s express that well enough uh, See, like, kind of these angular bits and edges here. I don't know if that's all modern stuff. It might be. It might be. Uh, but, yeah, like, these parallel lines and abrupt transitions here. It's tough to say. And like, these faint parallel lines here. And once again, I haven't looked at the entire area just because there's kind of too much to look at. It's too, too much to consume and synthesize and process. It's just like volume wise, there's too much river here to, to look at all of it and do so in a... Ah, hey, Brian, no excuses. Shut up. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm kind of making excuses as to why I'm not... Uh, mm, going over the whole area and drawing definitive co conclusions. It's just, it's, it's a lot of volume. It's a lot of area. And a lot of uh, backstory in each area. But you already know that. I've already said it. And uh, all right, so parallel lines like that. Oh, what's this? Okay, um, some more, whoops, where to go? Straight parallel lines, some more of this type of phenomenon. So, uh, 
So we've got kind of angular trees, tree lines here, like this, and and one uh, bears repeating. The river does take its overtake itself in abrupt ways. If the river loop thing is really happening, which I think it is, like the natural river loops, but we also have these kind of abrupt angular. Uh, things to consider, patterns. So we have these parallel lines which may or may not be streaks or which may, uh, or um, streaks, what's another word? Just the river river loops, former river paths. Uh, and then these parallel lines also kind of interrupting these other patterns like streaks going this way or former river, former river and then also like indications of parallel activity kind of overtaking that um, or uh, non non continuous with this pattern so that either this is modern stuff or it's uh, tooling of earth stuff for lack of a better term and we see indications of that parallel activity here and here and uh, even if this stuff is modern these angular abrupt patterns I'm pointing out in the parallel stuff. Um, that doesn't mean it's not part of this uh, strange protocol we're discussing. J uh, just in the in the case that it's an ongoing protocol. Um, uh, okay. Uh, one moment, let me collect my thoughts here. Oh, I think I was going to do a, a quick look at historical photos to see if, uh, to see how much the river is meandering, to see if these streaks are legit or uh, mimicry. So let's check that out. I was just looking in the Amazon earlier today and there is legit um, meandering in the river loops here. I don't know if we're going to get a good answer. All we see is 2010 and it's kind of blurry <laughs> clouds. Oh, look, you zoom in and it's only clouds right where you're trying to look. None over here, just where I'm trying to look. Um, anyways, so I don't know if we're going to get a good answer as to whether we see much meandering in the river. We don't, but we only have access to 2010 photos and newer. Okay, um, I'll try not to do too much live exploring because that's kind of boring. I'll try and stick to my place marks where I actually have a good example. Kind of talking to myself right now, just talking myself through it. Um, some parallel stuff again. Faint stuff. Um, all right, let's move back down. And let's go back down into Ukraine area. Let's see, what do we got? Got some parallel, line. oh, these might be like the old groove or whatever, uh, just industrial stuff. Even these patches of parallel trees, I, I'm uh, still suspicious about. Let's see, 2011, what do they look like? Kind of the same, it, it could just be farming or whatever. Uh, stuff over here, whatever's going on. But, okay. Old patterns overwritten. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, we have multiple things going on. Obviously modern stuff going on. And these faint, faint parallel lines. Or looking faint in the satellite photo. Uh, or kind of broken up or I don't know. 2011 looking pretty similar 
Could this be def uh, logging, deforestation, clear cutting, preparing the land, uh, any number of things, like obvious vehicle activity in the area. It's cleared areas. Uh, yeah, I don't know. These parallel lines could be related to the terraforming stuff, whatever. Um. <laughs> okay. Streaks change direction at right angle. Let's check it out. So we have the streaks here, and then that kind of angular abrupt change there. Hard to say, kind of a channel here. And what I'm discussing now is more in the uh, topical domain of uh, cartoonish rivers, as we might call it. But also we have the channels kind of in the area as well. like. This channel here looking kind of artificial, and we're not sure if that's modern or not. No way to be sure other than to go knock on the door or maybe call up these Belarusian or Ukrainian dudes and ask them. But yeah, see like this kind of angular um, and these parallel, it's kind of quasi-natural, quasi-artificial looking. This patch here, it's kind of kind of WTF to my eye. Again, maybe my intuition's wrong, but or it could be multiple phenomenon uh, overlapping, multiple over uh, multiple decades or centuries. And WTF angular quasi natural. Quasi artificial patterns. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, mm, so abrupt angle here. So is this is this to call your attention to the artificial terraforming, like as a deliberate uh, way to out themselves? Or not even not even like f uh, to out themselves for like some karmic clause or something, but also just for sport possibly. Like let's just make weird patterns for sport, or mostly natural but kind of weird patterns for sport, um, or mostly natural and also throw in some angular artificial looking stuff, and let's just do it for sport or as an experiment. To see how the humans respond to it, uh, it's possible. Like for amusement. <laughs> uh, yeah, this angular, these angular features, which may or may not be modern industrial activity. Okay. Um, so stuff like this, it's linear feature of trees. Uh, and continuing here, kind of a path with a tree line along it. So these, yeah, these are like out of place channels, maybe we might say, or at least out of place or questionable edges to the river, uh, the general area of the river. So this might be a road here or something. Yeah, it might be like a road. And then it kind of continues here. So maybe the, the clearing vehicle made this big path, and then they only decided to use this much of it as a road. And then this is kind of remaining as a channel or remnant of that clearing. Uh, I don't know, or prepping of the land. Not looking like a navigation channel, though, I will say. Um, 
Hopefully my scrolling around is not too glitchy. I've been having some te technical issues with the uh, st screen capture software I'm using. Um, this might be for navigation. Okay, this is another thing we see a lot of, which makes me raise an eyebrow or... Uh, yeah. This linear edge uh, on some of the... Uh, streaks um, just this uh, not perhaps not completely straight but straight enough to make me uh, wonder what's going on here this it's like the uh, the coast is uh, kind of rounded and then here there's a A linear aspect uh, on the edge of it. <clears throat> um, kind of struggling with my words here, but uh, it's like this more natural path and then this more artificial path uh, usurping it pro uh, potentially. And this channel here, which may be for navigation, that would kind of make sense. Or it might not be, I don't know. Here, I think I showed that already. Straight, then round smoothly. What's going on there? Uh, I don't know what I mean. I think I mean like this. I don't, eh. Possibly artificial, maybe not. <clears throat> and then, yeah, all these little narrower channels, mini channels. I can't say with any level of confidence that that's part of this terraforming project, but it might be. Just food for thought. Uh, yeah, take my place marks back on and try to finish this area here as quickly as possible. Yeah, so all these channels could be drainage or just boats driving around in the marsh <clears throat> or navigation. Okay. All right, so. So yeah, some more, uh, some more of the parallel paths through the trees and that kind of angular thing going on. Uh, it's possibly modern. Arg. Still kind of looking pretty much the same in 2011. Whatever's. Okay. Same thing here. Even here, maybe. Uh, could be like old deforested area that they replanted recently. And that's why it's looking parallel. So this, yeah, I would say this kind of makes sense as a, nav I think I have a still image of this one uh, as a navigation channel. Um, but I don't know how much time it's saving you. Maybe some, I don't know. This, I don't know what I mean by the round. Oh, it's like kind of straight here and then it rounds around. So it's like, it's like this is a natural river loop path. And then it uh, kind of turns straight for a bit. Although that might not be straight. Or it might just be kind of straight. I don't know. <clears throat> Okay. Patchy parallel trees, uh, straight, then straight meets curved. Not sure what I mean there, but it's kind of a path there. Oh, the 
angle. Yeah, I kind of already showed this area. And okay, many angular artificial features. Yeah, could be modern. Sorry, I try not to bore you too much, but yeah, this is definitely right here looking strange to my eye because it's like kind of like river loop remnants, but it's also kind of angular and artificial looking. So that's that's kind of a smoking gun ish or esque. All right. Uh, This already showed that. Um, try and wrap up this area in a minute as I take a sip of coffee. Oh, I finished it already. It's such a horrible feeling when you thought you had more coffee, but you already drank it all. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, Durr. Linear edge, yes. That. Artificial streaks, maybe. Here's this guy that we we're first looking at. Mimicked streak. Okay, 2014 photo. What am I talking about here? Um, oh, I think I'm talking about like just this little tiny like angular abrupt thing here. Hmm. It's pretty subtle if it's even there. Kind of angular there as well. Let's see. So we have this streak here, or this river path, and Yeah, kind of maybe a little awkward transition here, perhaps. I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, okay, whatever. Angular end to artificial channel. Let's see older photos. Yeah, kind of. Uh, see, like this, it's once again, it's subtle, but like this angular, like it was some kind of uh, sweep or maneuver of, of some kind. Uh, maybe even like here. Perhaps. But let's, uh, maybe here. Yeah, definitely here. Angular. End of it there. Some lovely clouds. Uh, where did it go? Yeah, right here. Hmm. So yeah, in the 2014 photo, it's kind of looking angular. And then in the 2017, it's looking like some sediment may have collected here. So I don't know how new how new these uh, angular aspects are because they look pretty crisp in some photos. So it could be the modern aspect of the artificial terraforming weirdness. I don't know, or just modern traditional stuff, conventional human activity, industrial stuff. Um, all right, we're in through the rest of my place marks in the area, kind of parallel grid, uh, or old grid parallel lines here, perhaps related to weirdness, tough to say for certain, 2002, it's looking pretty similar. 2014 hasn't changed much. Yeah, worth noting that there's civilization right here, so more parallel stuff, blah, blah, blah. 
and edges of fake streak so it's possible so the idea is that this edge of this river path is uh, manufactured rather than natural it's possible kind of see the edge of it there like this right here kind of looking abrupt and strange right here as well kind of straight faint uh, indications of parallel artificialness perhaps and much of this area I haven't looked at but uh, I think that's the gist of it um, angular tree line yeah more of that here Okay, angular tree line. Let's see how long it's looked like that. 2002 looks the same. See this angular thing? We've seen this on. Um, you know what? I'll take you over to uh, Venezuela, that coastline I've showed you uh, several times already. Um, I hate repeating myself, but sometimes to illustrate the concept, I have to uh, go back and show you the similarities between examples um, as I observe additional similar examples. Uh, but see this angular aspect to the tree line, which seems to hold its form over the years. Uh, yeah, okay. Whether it's modern clearing or whatever. Uh, let me take you to uh, Venezuela and show you one of the first areas I started looking at, or among the first. So it's this, um, not ah, crap, where is it? Hmm. Uh, uh. I don't know if I'm going to edit this out, just because I, I don't want to spend too much time editing videos right now, but um, this is going to be boring for a second while I try to find this, so maybe scrub ahead, just scrub ahead uh, until I finally find what I'm looking for. <laughs> Sorry about that. I don't want to waste your time. There we go. Found it. So, uh, okay. Uh, this is Venezuela, I believe. Yeah. So Venezuela. And, uh, so this angular thing is what I'm talking about. This, uh, maneuvery, uh, kind of angular aspect to these tree lines. With these abrupt and kind of See the rem remaining path there, and here as well, kind of angular, and these streaks, which are either natural or artificial or a mixture of both. So I'm seeing a similarity between this and the Ukraine place we were just looking at. This might be modern lines. I don't know. Uh, let's look right here. Historical. 1969, we're not going to see much. Too blurry. 2003. Okay, so these lines are looking more recent. So that's probably modern activity. Yeah, whatever it is, it's modern. Maybe uh, coastal restoration or anything. Prepping the land, whatever. But uh, these angular, sweepy aspects, or, uh, tree line aspects have looked pretty similar, at least since 2003. Uh, so right here. And that, to my eye, looks quite a bit like what we're seeing over in Ukraine. Uh, let's go there. And yeah, sorry about the scrolling around, just maybe kind of scrub through. 
uh, as you see necessary. Um, so yeah, the angular tree lines right here is looking pretty similar to that. And enough said there. Linear path extending here. I don't know. Could be anything. Awkward edges. See 2002 photo. Let's do it. Okay, so yeah, just this kind of well defined tree line, and this one as well. And there's probably like along the edges of a river loop or a river bank, there's uh, a particular kind of soil. So that is, I don't know, more fertile or whatever. So trees naturally grow along the edge of the bank, river bank, which makes it look abrupt when really it's just a different, uh, different conditions for plants to grow. But here it's looking kind of overgrown and it's no longer really that well-defined. But in 2002, it's kind of well-defined. So that, that almost leads me to believe these streaks are, or these uh, potentially artificial uh, river loop remnants that they might even be recent, like in the last couple decades. Mm, maybe this thing. I don't know what, this is a little weird looking. Could be modern. Yeah, 2002, and some abrupt clearing of the area, looking like it. Well, that might be modern, but it doesn't look like it's changed much in 20 years or so. Okay, turn my place marks back on. I think we're almost done. Hang in there. Okay. Uh, So uh, this might be kind of an out of place channel, this streak or this uh, path across here, kind of linear thing, which almost looks collinear with this river bank or tree line right here, maybe a linear or an angular change of direction there, maybe. Yeah, so whatever that is. And then, so this uh, channel, this channel here on the interior of this riverway, um, I, I don't know if that's um, modern activity. Got a nice little channel here, which might be modern, don't know. Some kind of angular patches here, and this is probably a road here, I think. So that's uh, worth considering. Some possibly angular patches here. Whatevs. Um, okay. So this channel here, looking kind of natural here, uh, or at least jagged um, although that jaggedness could certainly be contrived by this artificial terraforming project some somewhat strategic or something but uh, we see that this channel doesn't go through like we see this channel uh, changes direction here and uh, Some, some type of path here, or river path. Kind of almost artificial looking river bank here. See this path here? Possible dredging activity, I don't know. But, uh, yeah, I don't necessarily
see the purpose and or uh, utility or practicality of this channel here this so from here to here roughly I mean you've already got this river to travel in and uh, so I'm thinking this might be artificial this channel here along the coast um, yeah like see here it's kind of shallow and doesn't look like it's being used and it just kind of dead ends here and possibly changing directions so I would I would call that an out of place channel or stretch of channel and possibly another weird path here and kind of there as well and here a straight bit and stuff like this these kind of abrupt edges which are straight for a while like this doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me and angular linear bits so kind of linear edges here angular awkwardness pathy linear tree line so So it's looking more natural. Well, yeah, kind of looking natural back in 2012. And then 2016, uh, looks pretty similar. This one, it doesn't look as suspicious. Could just be the angle or the, the lighting or the season or whatever, but uh, okay. Many angular patches of trees. Yep. Slightly odd. Okay, so I think that's it for this general area of Ukraine. Oh, crap. So we, we saw Belarus and down into this area. Um, I also have to show you... Uh, further south in Ukraine, this uh, strange eyebrow-shaped bit of land, which I will compare to another eyebrow-shaped bit of land elsewhere. So this strikes me as odd. Let's look at it from a different angle. Almost looks like it continues with this over here, and kind of this over here as well. Uh, maybe not, but maybe. And I just don't know what it is. It's like a, a path or like a linear, uh, not linear, um, a curved bit of uh, land, like a finger of land. That's kind of strange to me. Strange looking. Look at it in historical photos. So it hasn't changed much. And we kind of see a somewhat well-defined path here or edge of the tree line. Some parallel aspects to it. That's a good shot. Uh, so whatever that is, Almost, it's kind of like a channel, but it's land instead of a channel. It's kind of, kind of like a path over here, or at least on the sides of it. So not sure what's going on there. Place marks back on, and what else down here? So, uh, even f well, uh, I'll show you the other eyebrow. This is in uh, Australia, northern Australia, kind of upside down here. 
but uh, yeah, this uh, thing looks pretty similar to me. Um, so even this thing like makes me suspicious, like this short linear kind of abrupt tree line here is slightly weird to me. And then, uh, yeah, just this kind of clearly defined odd path here, which may be a former river path or any number of things. I'm still considering that the clean sweep thing on the artificial coastlines aspect, like the swept curve uh, artificial coast, I'm still uh, on the fence about that whole topic or aspect to this. Um, but yeah, this kind of eyebrow looking thing is pretty similar to that uh, feature in Ukraine, I think. A brief look at the historical photos, 2006-2004. Uh, bear with me for a moment. Okay, so I actually filmed a whole video about how uh, Google Earth tends to put uh, obstacles in uh, the historical photos, like right where you're looking at, or like a glitch. And I don't know whether that's coincidence or just bad programming or uh, a glitch, or if it's strategic by somebody, not necessarily by Google. Um, but yeah, we, we can't look at what we're trying to look at, because <laughs> here's this band here. What are the odds that the image would stitch right where I'm trying to look? And this is pretty, uh, it happens quite a bit, but um, anyways, could just be load time or my internet or whatever. So, I don't know, this is all we're going to get for now, the only view. But that looks pretty similar to the Ukraine eyebrow-shaped thingamajig. And let's go back there and wrap up that area. So we've got this little eyebrow dude. Uh, and then further down the way, we have this channel here, which may be for navigation. Uh, let's look at the historical photos. 2008. Uh, some clouds can't really see. Okay. 2010. Come on, man. I don't know if this is the 2012 photo, but if it is, then this kind of looks, has looked the same for the last 10 years or so. Uh, yeah, so this channel, either weirdness or navigation, don't know, and stuff like this. You can see the edges of it there, going across here. Might be an out-of-place channel, might just be for navigation or whatever. But then we have stuff like this, which is probably not for navigation, it's just like a... Uh, like you see the end of it here. It's kind of like a machined edge. Whether that's dredging or what, <clears throat> or uh, a river path, and uh, right here as well, the straight edges here, which almost like an out of place channel, and here, this here, almost collinear with this, almost, perhaps. Like this little short bit here. And is that for navigation? Yeah, maybe. Because here as well, and then... I don't know. But... There's that for consideration. And like here... And these like little things got looking like some type of start and stop path here, perhaps, like this, and this, and this, and here. 
maybe. Okie dokums. And, uh, see, like, something like this makes sense for navigation. See, we have a boat here that obviously just passed through this channel, most likely. Uh, that's more convenient than going all this way around. I do wonder why there aren't more channels. Like, why would they just make one navigation channel, but then not make one here? You know what I mean? Or like from here to here. Like if, if you're doing this for convenience purposes or to shorten the distance, why wouldn't you just do more of them? Like why wouldn't you do one here as well to cut off the distance here? I don't know, maybe there's regulations or something. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. This... 50-50, 70-30, I don't know. Turn my stuff back on and... Alright, let's go home. I mean, to a different area. Yeah, dredging or... Or, or uh or the artificial terraforming here on these channels. Mm. Yeah, so these channels here could just be for depth to keep the area deep. And I'll talk more about dred dredging in uh, the next video or the one after that. Uh, and the technical aspects of dredging but, see, like, okay, here, this, like, just looks like the edge of the land is part of this uh, path, maybe. Here it continues. Maybe. I don't know. Uh... All right, um, Ukraine, we are done with for now. Let's go over to uh, these examples in Russia. What uh, was the cartoonish river thing I was showing for a reference? Um, and we'll take a look at this general area uh, right here. So it's northern or just above northern China in Russia over here. So let's start at the top over here and work our way down. Uh, see, this linear edge. Uh, fairly common in these uh, cartoonish looking rivers uh, areas. So let's uh, get rid of these and get a good look at this. So this linear edge here strikes me as odd and I won't make too much commentary about why or how, because I kind of did that already. Just show you the examples. Slightly angular here. Um, yeah, these abrupt uh, angular lines here strike me as weird. Linear there. Continuing, perhaps. Or it's like linear for a while, and then it curves, and then it's linear again which might just be the river path, I don't know. <clears throat> but yeah, these, uh, these angular things, which like in other cases, you might see a navigation channel right here to shorten the distance, but here it's just a, uh, a linear edge to the tree line. Like, like this isn't a full blown channel. This is just a, a half-assed channel, if that makes sense, or a, a partial, partially executed um, feature. All right, let's go keep going south and see what we see. Uh, I'll just repeat briefly that I didn't look at this whole area because there's too much to look at. But, uh, 
kind of a path here. Not sure. Let's be power lines or something. Uh, okay, so yeah, here's the area in the still image I had. So we have this these angular abrupt edges. Just the general look at of it, and then also the uh, specific little instances like here. Angular oddness and these little angular patches here, um, with somewhat clearly defined angular edges. Quick look at the historical photo, 2012, looking a little more filled in here. And here it looks like the river has overtaken it or flooded, like the water level is higher in the newer picture, it seems, more recently. Yeah, interesting. Uh, so angular thing here, what does that look like? Still angular and slightly odd. I don't know. Once again, I don't think we're going to get any firm conclusions here. Just more questions. Uh, another instance of the linear edge here. This linear stretch, which kind of uh, discontinuously inter interrupts the flowy ri river patterns. Another one right here. See that? Um, kind of weird. Alrighty. What else? Yeah, just stuff like this. These angular, kind of clear, clearly defined, weird angular patches, changes of direction. Okay. Whoops. Uh, this angular angular tree line here on the land. Even these, like these, uh, sorry, try not to make you dizzy. These short, cleared bits of uh, land, these clear-cut trees or little uh, patches of land. Even these strike me as odd. Like this right here. Slightly strange. Like maybe, maybe right there, here. And again, see how it's like kind of a natural, more natural uh, looking version of that over here and the more artificial looking over here possibly like that as well it's subtle i mean i know it's inconclusive but maybe something may be up or something may be amiss kind of a straight path here and i don't know foot trail or vehicle track or whatever here angularness of it. And maybe Google just updated their uh, image processing method so that some of these features look more abrupt and stand out more because of coloration and sharpness. But uh, if you were to go there, maybe it would look more blurry and natural. Or if you were to look at it from above, with a from a helicopter or something as possible uh, maybe little angular patches here short path let's check that out so like this perhaps all right let's keep moving south and finish up this area so once oh straight edge once again, uh, 
yep, kind of, you have the flowy river streaks and then the straight edge kind of, kind of like here too, kind of discontinuously or abruptly interrupting the, the flow. I don't know. What else was I saying? I think right here, these kind of angular, fairly smooth streaks or paths or whatever they are. <clears throat> mm, we don't have too much historical data here. Okay, but kind of angular and strange. Perhaps possible channel here, this wide little channel. Let's see. See, almost almost an angular end to this. Like we have this streak here, this river loop here, or river path, and then kind of like angular there and also on this end of it um, possibly like right here as well like they didn't follow through to the edge or all the way through could be some natural explanation for that just some natural phenomenon it's possible it's kind of similar there angular all right linear bits at an angle uh, what am I talking about? So yeah, we have like this edge and then this like here and rivers can naturally be uh, perfectly straight for a stretch. That's, that's uh, possible and I'm sure it does happen but uh, I don't know, we got some type of path here and then uh, kind of abrupt edges. Perhaps. Let's keep moving. And this is interesting. Uh, this circular edge to this tree line here, or this patch of trees, this bit of land. Uh, mm, this might be classified as an out of place channel, just like a random channel here. Kind of awkward. 2004. Yeah, it might just be modern work, I don't know. Yeah, possible dirt dirt piles next to the the dug trenches, if that's what this is. Certainly possible. Um, this circle, yeah, this could just be the path of a industrial vehicle. Like it came along here and did this. Yeah, that's what it looks like. And uh, whether that's innocent or uh, like just regular industrial work or whether that's part of the protocol ongoing. I couldn't tell you. Streaks, obviously. Here's the kind of somewhat, somewhat abrupt, almost linear edge here to this feature. Somewhat discontinuous and awkward. Derpy. But yeah, this thing here. So there's obvious artificial activity in the area. The, it's just the question is whether it's uh, modern, conventional, industrial stuff, or if it's, you know, strangeness. Um, all right, let's go over here real quick. Are all the streaks artificially created? Maybe. So is it a natural system which was artificialized or is it completely artificial from the beginning of this river system we don't know and we can't really confirm either way so 
Yeah. This looks a little weird right here. Maybe not. Possible straight edge there, once again. Kind of perpendicular to the river path. Uh, here we go. What's this? Kind of a channel. See, I like this example. Uh, because it is not in use currently. So it's not a current navigation channel which is being maintained. Uh, note also this possible straight edge here. But, uh, mm, possible, uh, never mind, stay focused. So this channel here is, uh, it would kind of make sense to cut the distance from uh, the travel along this, this river. You might want to just cut a path here for a shortcut. Uh, although it looks like there kind of already was one here. Which you might take advantage of, or maybe not. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. Uh, but here we go. So look, I'm, I'm focusing on this straight, uh, wide path here. This kind of short channel. Looking pretty similar since 2005 or so. I don't know if we're going to see much difference between 2005 and 2016. Erg. <laughs> so frustrating. <sighs> Clouds. And yeah. Unfortunately, the, we're not going to get much out of historical photos here. Maybe an angular path here. I don't know. But yeah, it strikes me as weird. This abrupt channel here. I'm calling that an out-of-place channel. Now, it's certainly possible that it, uh, this is a legit navigation channel from modern work that, uh, um, or transportation channel, whatever it's called, that was built in the 1940s or so, uh, just to throw a number out there, and then it filled in in the decades since. You know what I mean? Uh, sorry, I'm noticing something else. But uh, yeah, so it just sediment kind of collected over the years and decades. So this used to be a legit uh, transportation channel, but now it's just kind of in disuse. Uh, that's possible, certainly. Um, okay, uh, just I was noticing here uh, these streaks here, which look fairly natural, perhaps. And then this kind of abrupt uh, other direction here, which could be natural as well, but it's almost an angular change of direction. Mm hmm. Okay. Okay, let's uh, go over to this area, skipping over all this area, although I'm sure we could find some interesting stuff if we wanted, but like, nah. see, this is almost like that straight uh, type of channel that cuts across abruptly, but it's not quite, it's more, it's a little, it's got a slight curve to it, so it might be natural, tough to say. Uh, and then maybe some angular stuff here, like angular there, and then this abrupt linear uh, perpendicular aspect to it, uh, perhaps. And that's just a random zoom there. Um, here, maybe. Uh, I don't know. But uh, circle streaks. So these uh, bumps and dots and parallel uh, features. So obviously some industrial stuff in the area, uh, possible old grid lines or so-called old grid, whatever you want to call it. Um, some kind of activity. It's a nice little horseshoe outcrop here. 
Um, anyways, uh, so these uh, parallel uh, lines from clearing trees, which may or may not be modern, don't want to focus on that too much right now, uh, just these uh, bumps or dots or spoil islands or whatever you might call them, uh, these parallel arrays of dots and these parallel lines here, these uh, levees, if that's what they are, or uh, grooves or some type of management of the land or the, the coastal uh, landscape or habitat ecosystem. It's kind of dotted line here. It's possible gibberish. It's possible that, that this is part of the whole gibberish thing. Uh, it's just worth worth considering. I don't really ha have anything I can conclude on this or, or uh, assert. No definitive assertions. Uh, other than it seems strange. And here, again, uh, some kind of straight line here. Uh, but uh, we have these more faint uh, parallel indications and possibly more uh, bumps or mounds dirt mounds Let's look at that in the historical photos 2004 mm, yeah you can kind of still see faint indications of it there uh, what about the parallel stuff uh, where'd it go I lost my spot yeah so the the parallel lines and mounds, yeah, they are there in 2004. It's just hard to see. Uh, but yeah, you can see the, the mounds and dots and the parallel lines of earth or the uh, levees or whatever that is. And it stays pretty much the same through the, uh, the years. See the dots here. Possible changing water level, which changes the appearance of the area. Let's look at these folks on these mounds or dots real quick in the historical photos. So we see them here, somewhat well defined, yeah. Uh, Pretty strange. Uh, they must be like mounds that protrude a little bit under the snow. And here it's looking like they're mostly submerged, or uh, or this the, the surrounding area is underwater. Uh, but I mean. Uh, yeah, not sure what this is, the purpose of this uh, activity is, if it's modern. Okay, I think we are done with this area. I'm just looking for faint uh, additional parallel lines and indications of more of this activity. Uh, Okay, and then um, Brazil in the Amazon had a still image of a cartoonish river and uh, not really an out-of-place channel, but it just helps give context because a lot of the so-called out-of-place channels are uh, in cartoonish river areas, to use my own terminology. So it's, I believe it's this guy right here. No, not that guy. Uh, well, that's similar. So let's look at this real quick. So we have the Amazon. And uh, if we do a time lapse, we can see uh, the river meandering and changing course. So there's, there's legit uh, river loops here. 
in this area. Um, so this may just be like a coincidence that this looks kind of angular. It's not necessarily sus uh, too suspicious. Um, so let's do a quick, uh, and it's not a particularly good example either, uh, but let's do a quick time lapse of this area. See if we can see some meandering. Yeah, I think we see it, like if you look at this, like a slight bit of meandering. Could just be the photo angle, but... Well, in one area I looked at, I saw meandering. Anyways, uh, let's go to uh, abrupt angular edge. So Goofy River Loop. This is the one I had the still image of. And kind of similar to Russia and Ukraine, the, the streaky look of it, of the general area. And um, so, I mean, it's certainly possible this is a, a legit feature. It looks kind of out of place and uh, abrupt and angular here, like these little angles. And then even I was considering like uh, this is almost kind of like a little staircase zigzag pattern. Staircase zigzag. Um, and even like right here, these little subtle possible angles. It's hard to say because it's kind of blurry. Or not a great... Uh, can't really be definitive about it, but uh, just possible angular weirdness here. Um, and yeah, we're not, there's no historical photo to look at really, but possible angle right here, and then right here, and just the end of it, and the clear edges, and that's just kind of weird to me. So yeah, I'm, I should be clear. Yes, I'm questioning the legitimacy of the Amazon River, if this is the Amazon. Uh, it's... Well, here's the Amazon, and then it branches into all these other rivers, obviously. Uh, so the goofy loop. Faint right angle. Let's check this out. So you see what I'm looking at here? This right here. Could be just two features that happen to coincide, which makes it look like a right angle coincidentally. Um, and unfortunately, we're not going to get historical photos, at least not in Google Earth Pro. Uh, possible linear edge here. See that? This somewhat abrupt and out of place. Um, yeah. Uh, but where'd that go? That uh, angular thing. I forget. It is right here. Okay. So this... Uh, angle, maybe, don't know, and possible abrupt angular ends to these pseudo streaks, if that's what they are. Um, and so, so the Amazon River does meander. Um, it's just that, uh, is it artificial to begin with, and then the meandering happens subsequently? Or is it natural to begin with, and then artificially edited at some later date, and then it still meanders? Uh, so, I mean, we can't, re we can't really know. Not seeing a whole lot of change, although I don't know if these photos are really the year they say they are. Oh, saw so a little bit of meander. Anyways, uh, okay, it's, mm, possibly, meh, I was going to say angular thing there, going on, place marks back on, and move down a ways, what do we got? So, here again, one of those linear edges that is quite strange to me. And I would have a, a tough time saying that this is modern industrial work because it's kind of in the middle of nowhere in the Amazon and there's, there would be no real purpose to just machining one little edge of a river, I don't think, uh, out in the middle of nowhere. So you have this 
abrupt linear edge, or at least it appears that way to my eye. And then these streaks, which may or may not be legit, I mean uh, natural. They may be artificial mimicry of natural patterns, or they may, may be natural patterns, but this, nat uh, this straight bit here strikes me as weird. Enough said. Abrupt angular. Yeah, maybe, maybe. See, this is this is tough because because um, you have like these, which is looking kind of natural. You know what I mean? And uh, then this, which looks kind of natural over here, but and then this end is kind of abrupt looking, <sighs> which could just be once again a coincidence or just happenstance. It just happens to and kind of a right angle naturally. That's very possible. Um, but see how crisp that is? Ah, that, that bugs me. <laughs> um, bugs me quite a bit. Uh, and it may have even been done recently. Like, I doubt this 1969 photo is legit because, uh, or it might be, I don't know. So some 1969 or th thereabouts uh, photos are super blurry, and then some are uh, more crisp. So I don't know. And then sometimes, like in the historical photos, you'll you'll click to the different years, but it'll stay on the same picture or the same satellite photo. So it's tough to know what's um what's just a a Google Earth Pro glitch and what's a legit depiction of what's there in the environment. But that looks kind of angular and weird to me. <clears throat> and we might be done with this area. Once again, we're in the Amazon, the deep Amazon in Brazil. Goofy thing, I already kind of showed you that. Abrupt angular edge. Let's just do, uh, we're nearing the end of this um, top or this video. Uh, let's just do a couple random zooms to see a naturally straight stretch of shore. Maybe I don't know, but uh, let's just do a random zoom or two on stretches of this river. See this kind of somewhat angular but somewhat natural looking. Tough to say, like it's it's kind of rounded and natural. I don't know. So I don't have any place marks here, don't have anything to show. But uh just looking for anything on the fly. Kind of boring to watch, but it's worth a quick effort, I think, just to understand the general phenomenon of what's going on. Possible abrupt path here. Or former path. It, it almost looks continuous, actually, with the, the flow of the, the streaks. So, I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe natural. Mm, here, kind of. This is interesting. Somewhat abrupt and out of place looking. <clears throat> or, uh, angular-ish, or... Just kind of, yeah, out of place, I guess. Or not out of place, uh, abrupt. Maybe. Uh. <laughs> Sorry, I annoy myself sometimes, so I imagine you, you get at least a little bit sick of hearing me speak the way I speak. Although sometimes I am on the gosh darn point. <clears throat> pat 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 on my back. All right, let's uh, let's call it a a day. So um, we'll, we're breaking this out of place channels video up or topic up into multiple videos. So this is this video and more examples in the next video. All right, see ya.